Just in case you need another excuse to eat pancakes, David has one for us today. We're at the Northwest Natural Appliance Center where they're letting us use their beautiful test kitchen. And David, you've got some really good things cooking here, it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, a lot of people are familiar with Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday that's coming up, but not many people have heard about Pancake Day. Pancake, Pancake Day. Pancake Day, and that's not an IHOP holiday. <laughs> it's not. Um, what it is, is in the United Kingdom years ago, before Lent, what they needed to do is they needed to get rid of things like eggs, dairy products, and butter because they couldn't eat them during Lent. Oh, the stuff that they would have to give up. That they'd have to give up for Lent. So they didn't want to waste it. So what they did is they made pancakes. So different areas of the world do different things. Um, so instead of Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, they have Pancake Day. Love it. So the, the pancakes that they made originally were probably more traditional like we would eat now, but over time, they actually uh, probably had like French influence, so they made it more like a crepe batter. So thinner. It's a thinner pancake, but it's still not quite as rich. And really, all it is is it's, it's flour, a little bit of salt, egg. So you had two two eggs and about what two cups of milk? And about uh, let's see, a cup and a half of milk. Okay. And a little bit of butter. Anyway, we just whisk that up, and then after that's whisked up, we're just going to add that to the flour mixture and we'll continue to whisk that up. And then once it's all whisked up, you want, really want to get the lumps out of it. This type of a batter can't have lumps. Oh, so unlike pancake batter where yeah. you kind of leave it a little lumpy? Right. And then after we get all the lumps out, then we're going to probably let it set and just rest for about 15 minutes. All right. And you can have this any time of day, right? Even for dinner? You can. In fact, yeah. I think that that's part of the tradition is it normally would be for dinner. All right. Well, let's let that sit for a few minutes. Okay, the batter's ready, and now you're melting a little butter in that cute little pan. <laughs> I am, I am. This is a blue steel pan. You can use cast iron. Um, you do want something that's not going to have it stick, but you do want some browning on it, and you don't want it too hot. And a lot of times, the first pancake you do make does not come out good. That always happens to me, too. Uh, first my, one is kind of the throwaway. Right, right, right. One of the traditions I read about Pancake Day was that they would have the eldest daughter make the first pancake, and if it came out good, it meant that she would get married that year. <laughs> pancake Day is taking on all kinds of new yeah, meaning. <laughs> it, it's true. It's true. Pretty, pretty exciting. So basically, you're just going to cook it on the one side. You, you can see it drying on top, mm -hmm. and it will get just a little bit brown. It's very thin. Yeah, it, it is. Not, but again, not quite as thin as a... Uh, is a crepe pancake, but very much similar. And the only other difference is there's no sugar in this batter. Definitely not the half pounders my mom used to make. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually coming out pretty good for a first one here. Right. Um, and you just control the heat, and as you cook, you turn it down just a little bit as the pan really warms up. But the nice thing about this or cast iron is that these pans really have nice even heat. So about medium, medium heat? Uh, maybe medium and then down to medium low. Okay. And then basically, that's, that's done. You roll it over? Yep, roll it over. Now, you can keep that in the oven, a low oven, uh, on an oven-proof pan or a plate, and keep them warm while you're making more. That way, you can serve a crowd. Well, you could just give that to me right now, I and I can I could give that it. to you. So you, you want to try and make one? <laughs> okay, I'll try. Okay. But you can see that the pan's getting a little bit So you would need to grease the there. pan in between each one. You do, and you don't need a lot. Okay. And that is getting a little warm, so we'll turn it down just a teeny bit. Go right ahead. Okay. And I'm using about a quarter cup. All right. I'm already married, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So what would you do now? That's OK. I mean, the thing is, you can just, spread it. Yeah, just there you go. give it a good shake, and then you can finish it up. I'll let you finish that one. OK, so the center won't be quite set, right? Close to set. Not quite said either one. I, I kind of tell a little bit more by taking a little peek underneath and see what it looks like. I don't want it to be it's done on real brown, like but side. yeah. And if it's too wet in the center, then it is a little bit difficult to flip it over. That looks nice. And the one other thing that I did find out about Pancake Day is they have pancake races. The women take <laughs> their pans with their pancakes and they have a race where they run around and they flip the pancakes as they run. So Whoa. we can maybe see about signing you up for that. Okay, I, I think I'm ready. So just roll it over. Yep. This spatula, I think, is also kind of key, isn't it? It is. I, I mean, it's really helpful. Not quite as pretty as yours. Ah! <laughs> so we'll make a few more of those, and then we'll get them plated up. Sounds good. All right. Well, this looks beautiful. Yeah, it really does. And the traditional finish on it is a little bit of powdered sugar. And then you finish that up with just a little squeeze of lemon across them. 
and they're good to go. And now you have a traditional pancake for pancake day or any time. Sounds great. And of course, the full recipe will be on our website, fusionnw.com.